I'm sorry, what? Jolly Roger? That's actually your name? I don't care who's in this list. We're hiring you. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Motel Manager Simulator here in our Motel Dave. Yes, I finally went in and changed the name of the motel. It's Motel Dave now. Um, how are you doing in here? In the bathroom? Oh, sorry. Yeah, kind of interrupted you there. Yeah, wow, that, that dress really isn't working for you, is it? And how are we doing in here? You just sort of, sort of staring at the bed? Yeah, you having to think about what to do? Not really sure how your day is going to go. Okay, you have a great time in there. Enjoy the toilet paper. So, of course, now what I've got to do is get my amazing new room. My God, this is hard on the eyes. Get my amazing... Wow, this is really blinding. I'm having a hard time even recording this. Get my amazing new room up and running here. I've got someone waiting in the office, but it's a cop and we don't have anything for them anyway, so I don't really care. Let's go order some furniture. So let's go ahead and do a double bed because obviously if two people come in or one person wants a double bed, we want to be able to accommodate them. And then bed sheets. Now I know I need two of these. Here's a thought. Why don't we actually have to try try and have these ones match, Dave? I know, it's shocking. You're probably never going to see this again. And then a couple of... Wow, that's hideous. A couple... Wow, that is really awful. A couple of blankets here. Let's keep it simple. Because the room itself is so insane with the color choices. Let's keep the rest of it kind of neutral. I think Mrs. Dave would appreciate that. How about a pillow or two here? Again, let's, let's go with neutral colors on this and immediately change this to the truck rather than the van because that's not going to fit in the van. So doors. Um, yeah, I need a couple of doors here. How about... What are the prices on these? Let's let's keep the doors nice and cheap. I don't have unlimited money here. So door number two and door number four, two of my favorite doors. Uh, lamps we already got covered in there. A bathtub. Again, let's keep it on the cheap side here. How about that bathtub right there? It doesn't get me a bonus of anything, but I've got I've spent like half my money already here. I can't spend everything. Okay, and a sink, and I've got extra towels already. But I'll, I'll get a, a towel or two. Why not? Add that to the cart. The toilet. Obviously, we go with our good old-fashioned American toilet. Not these European ones. I just don't trust them. They look too high-tech for me. Toilet paper I've got tons of. No worries about that. How about a nice $40 heater for a $1 bonus there? What am I up to? Almost $500. I've got almost 700. Uh, curtains are going to have to be a luxury item. I'm sorry. There's no curtains here. You can have one rickety wooden chair. You can have no lamps. Uh, how about a table? Yeah, a table. Let's get one of those. That's a $1 bonus to the room right there. Uh, desk is superfluous. Closet. Yeah, I mean, maybe you might want to hang something up. Sure, give me a $40 closet. What are we up to now? $5.50. I got to chill soon. Air conditioning. No, probably not. Coffee maker. I would love to, but they're 25 bucks for the cheapest one. That ain't going to cut it. I got to save a little bit of money here. We might have to go with just what we... Wow, that is a really old-fashioned TV. Look, it's got dials. Kids, ask your parents. You know what? It's 27 bucks. I'm buying that. Uh, carpet, no. Holder. Yeah, probably there should be a toilet paper holder of some sort. This one's nine bucks. I'll take that. Uh, books, toiletries. No, we're going to have to take a pass on a lot of these. I tell you what, you can have a really obnoxious clock. That's it. 600 bucks. And I'm going to have under $100 left if I order this, but this will get my room up and running. So order that. Okay, boom. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for all that, why don't we open up the gas station and get that going? Yeah, I got no time for you, lady. You can be patient all you want. I've got nothing to do with you. Uh, there are no rooms available. Go away. Some folks in comments are saying the gas station is way more profitable overall than the shop, but the shop is just cooler. Um, can I grab... I'd love to move this somewhere else. Maybe I'll just kind of hold off on that. And then the paint. I should probably move all of this stuff too. So that and that and that. Move all this over to storage while I'm waiting for a gas station customer. Also, I should probably take a nap at some point. So put all of this down, 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 down here. There we go. Look how organized my storage is. Mostly with toilet paper. 
Oh, is this a gas station customer coming in? Would you like some gas? I've been told we're selling in, is this correct, liters? Oh, look, it's got a little L on it. Okay, that's metric. I don't do that, so I'm just going to pretend that that's a gallon. It's going to be a while. Nobody's pulling into the gas station. I'm just going to go take a quick power nap over here in Motel Dave. I've got my little, I should put a door on this at some point. I know I don't encourage privacy in other people, but I'd like to have it for myself while I'm sleeping on my prison cot here. Okay, oh, there we go. Customer at fuel. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hang on. Hi, how you doing? You from around here? You're just passing through. Sorry, I don't have time for a lot of small talk. Okay, let's get the gas in there, and then let's get you fueled up, and let's make that go a little bit faster. Boy, you need a lot of gas. So this, uh, this leader thing, is this, uh, is this working out for you? This metric system thing? Is that, that dude? All right, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll get you out of here, sir. How's the shop actually looking? All right, it's nice and clean. I could reopen this. Uh, somebody in comments was saying, get the, the employee, like, break room ready to go. Oh, why are you so sad? Because then we could hire some people to work here, and I wouldn't have to do it myself. But I want to focus more on vending machines. Vending machines seems to be the real way to go here. That is really low effort money. Hi, you have amazing hair, and you need to go away. Oh, there's my truck coming in, too. There's my truck. Got all my good stuff in it. You could... You could probably just cut through the parking lot there. You, you don't you don't have to go all the way around if you don't want to. No, I mean, seriously, no, I know you're supposed to obey the, the lanes of the, the parking lot, but, like, there's nobody else here, dude, and it's my place. Look, it's got my name on it. It says Motel Dave. Okay, let's get some stuff going on here. Hey, man, how are you doing? Nope, sorry, the, the bathroom is for... Wow, you packed this tight. That's very inventive. You use doors as the doors. You... You've done really quite remarkable work here. This is almost like an art project that you put together. Let's start moving some stuff. So a door and a door. And what have you got next? The heater. Okay, spin that around so that snaps into there. And then what is this? That's the closet Huzimic What's It thing there. Where's the, where's the, I guess that's the front there. Let's put that sort of right up, right up front here like that. Okay, make sure that blocks the door so you can't get in or out very easily. Okay, I'm, hang on, there's a customer at fuel. Dude, can you just like move something or hang out or not be so obnoxious? I've got people to, can you pump gas? I will hire you if you can pump gas. Hey man, how you doing? Uh, the spoiler isn't really doing anything for you and it's decreasing the value of your vehicle. Okay, what else we got here? We got a chair and a toilet. I'm not really sure what I just grabbed there, but I've definitely grabbed it. I think I've got the bed in my hand. Oh, that's customer fuel. Where they're just going to have to wait. I don't have time. Look at this. I've got, a, I've got a toilet balanced on top of a chair. Do I look like I have time to pump gas for you? If you can wait one minute and 50 seconds, I'll be right over there eventually. Uh, one chair, right? Wow, that looks depressing. That looks so depressing. Uh, can, we, can we get it? Quick. We... Can we, can we get... I, I can't get in here. Put that down. Open that up. Pick that up again. Okay, back to work. Wait, that's the TV. Um, that's going to go. have to go on the floor. I don't I don't have the table yet. Uh, what, what have I got in my hands here? That's a sink. Uh, remind me where the, where the sink goes. That goes over here, right? Okay. And then I've got the bed. Let's just put that at a jaunty angle over here. All right, one jaunty angle. Go. And then the toilet Hoosie McWhats it thing goes in there. Okay, if I can hustle... I'll get over and deal with the gas thing. Yeah, I should probably turn the gas station off, but I kind of need the money right now. Oh, you have a very cool car. I will say that about that. You have an exceptionally cool car. Looks like it should be in the Avengers. Not the Avengers with, like, Tony Stark. I mean the Avengers with Emma Peel. Okay, grab some more stuff here. Grab all of that if we can. Grab the... No, can't grab the clock. That's too much stuff. All right. Customer at the office, they can just stand there. I don't care if they walk away. I am a... One and three quarter star motel. I don't have time for your nonsense. Now, what have I got in my hands here? I've got one pillow. Okay. Why, why does it have to be on the bed? Could it be on the floor? Put it on the floor. Let's see what happens. Uh, these are, what is that? Is that towels? Right. Dave, you got to remember you're ordering those by the case, not by, not, not by the, the towel. Um, there's a customer. Hang on. Uh, put all of this stuff down, and then I gotta go pump some gas. Yeah, you had a case of towels in storage. You, you need to just basically stop ordering towels. That would be your move here. So whenever you think you need a towel, Dave, just don't. Just, just don't do any towels. Any people coming in for gas? Just don't. Just, just don't do that. Uh, well, while I'm by the truck, I may as well grab some more stuff, and then I'll sort out the towel debacle momentarily. Oh, uh, there's already a customer in fuel. You know what? They can sit there for a couple of secs. I, I got things to be doing here. Bathtub and 
whatever. I think those are the sheets there and the towel paper holder. I don't think I can pick up the last mm. thing. Yeah, the, the customers at Fuel are going to wait there, wait there for a solid two minutes. Plenty of time to install a bathtub. See, look at that. A minute, six seconds left over to deal with this very, very impatient customers waiting here for gas. Uh, hi, welcome to Dave's Motel. Yes, I changed the sign. I don't know if you noticed that. I did change the sign. Were you attracted by my blinding color combinations? Okay, there's your gas. You have a, a fantastic day over there. Uh, wait, there's there's somebody else. Hang on, hang on. But this is good. I needed the money. I, I needed the money. We're back up to almost $200. So this is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. Okay, uh, you, gas, there. Now, while I'm over here, grab a few rolls of toilet paper and get, like, two... No, 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 don't put it back, take it. So take that, take that, take that. I said two and then I did three because it's always good to have a little bit extra in that regard. Oh, and get the the last thing out of here. So we've got the uh, the clock whoozy what's it thing there. Okay, you uh, can go home. You're, you're fine, man. Okay, yep, finish that delivery. And then let's start finishing up the room over here. All right, we'll put the clock just like this. Perfect. Oh, there's a little reflection on the ceiling. Oh, that's kind of a nice touch. On the glossy ceiling, there's a little reflection of the clock. That's quite cool. All right, um, let's get some things done here. So where are the sheets? So grab the sheet and then put that there. And then this is amazing. It's actually going to match for the first time ever. Unbelievable. And the blanket and the blanket. And the pillows can just stay down on the floor. That's fine. So let's grab this. Oh, you know what I'm going to need is one of those outlet who's even what's it things there. Because otherwise we can't plug in the thing, the television here, which has got dials. Again, dials. Dials. I'm waiting for the little rabbit ears on top of it. Again, kids, ask your parents. Seriously, stop ordering towels, man. You have so many towels right now. Grab one of those. That's all I need over there. And there's someone at the office. If you can hang on, lady, I might actually have a room for you. Oh, you're done, too. Okay. Did you have a good time? Is it a little purse? Okay, I won't ask. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's how outlets basically work. Okay, put that in there and then put that in there. The TV is ready to go. Can we turn this on? That'd be fun because I'm assuming it's black and white. No, black and white. Okay, so there... Oh, right. Okay, let me explain. There was a time when television was not in color. I, I know. I know. This is shocking. Uh, hang on. I got to see if my room is ready here. Uh, just, Just... I don't know, Google it or something. Yeah, there was a time when it was not actually um, in color. It was in black and white. Really? Only twenty-five seventy-five for that. I got to get some more stuff in there. Wow, that's a really, uh, compared to the others, that's li really, really low rent, I think. Um, so let's get you taken care of. So hi. Uh, oh, I need to get the key. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's get the key for that. Put the key there. Uh, no, put the key there. Talk to you again. You can take this room for 72 hours. Uh, so that's going to be three and a quarter all day. Not bad. Not bad. So 72 hours for that. You're going to be here three days. So that's not actually as bad as I thought. Um, hi, you're checking out. Did you have a lovely time? Will you be visiting us again? Would you like to fill out a comment card? I know that's actually an outlet, but I'm pretending it's a comment card. Would you like to fill out a comment card? I'll, I'll get you on your way, sir. Okay, put the key back and then go do all the laundry over there. So let's see how you left my room here. How did you, uh, how'd you do in here? Okay. It's actually not that bad. Did you, you did use this room, right? Is there, it's like almost nothing to clean up here. I mean, you left, left a few paint stains. Sure. That's to be expected. A little dirty over by the tub, but I can forgive that. Did you even use the bed? Oh, yeah, you totally did. Yeah, I, I see what's going on here now. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, get get the blanket. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do, don't do anything at all. Uh, get that and get that. Alrighty. I don't think you used the other side, though, did you? No, so that I don't really have to launder. Where did you leave the towel? Uh, over there. Okay, so grab that and then put all of this in the laundry and then see if I've got extras. I've got a minute 30 some odd to get to the guy at the gas station, but I kind of need the money. Okay, so uh, that and no, 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 all of this. No, no, don't turn it on yet. That and that and then turn it on and then go get the gas guy. 
And then after all of this, I might shut down the gas station again because I've got far too much to do around here. Except now they're lining up down the street to get into my gas station. Let's get this going faster here and you're done. Get you out of here. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Don't really have a lot of time for small talk. Get on your way, please. Thank you. Drive in. Thank you. Thank you. Quickly moving, moving, moving. Okay, moving along here. Moving along. You have a fantastic car, but I'm going to shut down the gas station momentarily. I don't have a lot of time for this. All right, I'm going to go in, shut down the gas station, go deal with the people who are actually getting gas, and then reevaluate from there. So let's get you, uh, let me see there, shut down. Okay, no more no more gas for anyone. I got to order gas soon. Uh, whatever your problem is, I don't have time for it, so bugger off. And you get some gas, and then you're going to get some gas, and then I think someone else is coming in too. I don't know where they are, but they're, they're here somewhere. Grab that, put that in there, put that in there, and then do it faster. I don't know where this other customer is, but they don't appear to be here, so I'm disinclined to care very much. Let me go see if my laundry is done. It probably is at this point, so notice we don't dry the sheets and blankets. We, oh, it's eight seconds. I'll just stand here. We don't dry. We have no dryer. There's, there's no dryer. We're just taking wet sheets out and putting them on a bed, which is less good, honestly. So take that, that, and that, and then run back to the room blanket back on the bed and then the towel back over here-ish. Okay, this room should be ready to go. Just check for any more dirt in here. Nope, definitely not seeing any of that. And the little bar at the top says there's no dirt, so we should be good to go. I'll get that in a second. People keep vomiting around here. So how are we doing here? So my rooms, yep, that's ready to go. Okay, that one's rented, that one's rented, the other one is ready to go. I've made a little bit of money on the old gas, too. Speaking of which, I said I was going to order gas, and I probably should. So, delivery, fuel, let's bump that up. I don't want to gut all my money, but we'll get a, like a little bit of gas coming in there, just to keep it topped off. Okay, what else? I could reopen the shop. Hmm, reopen the gas station while I wait for somebody else to rent my room. Oh, hi. So what are you, like a blackjack dealer or something? Is that like your gig? I don't know, man. Black shirt, white vest, white tie. It's a little 70s Vegas, if we're honest about things, and we are. Um, just hold on a sec. I didn't I didn't actually put the key down, sir. So put the key right there. Um, it's a little it's a little Vegas. Take that room. Uh, what are you giving me here? You're going to be here for a while. Good. Yeah, to totally take that. Thank you. I gotta get over to the gas station. I mean, good luck with the look, sir. It's a little dated, but maybe you could bring it back as kind of a retro thing. Oh, it's the cops. Hello, officer. Will you be rocking out today? Because that seems to be all you guys do. So put you in there, and uh, you're paying for this, right? This isn't like like a freebie, right? You don't just kind of come by and and get gas, right? I got nothing really to be doing, so I'll just take a little time to clean up a little bit around here, and then maybe look at this whole unlocking a shop park lot nonsense that we've got going on there. Again, there's there's nobody at fuel. I assure you, game, there is nobody at fuel right now. Throw all of this stuff in here. I got no time for that. Oh, you're checking out. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming by. Now I've got to go do all of your laundry and nonsense like that. Uh, put, I, I've done it wrong. Put, put, Pick that up. Put it over there. Okay, I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to go do laundry. You guys are over at the gas station. Of course you are. Now I've got fuel times three, but I bet it's only two. It is only two. Ah, really, uh, really filling up the tank there, huh? You'd think this car would have better fuel efficiency. It's a small car. Uh, okay, I know I'm working at it. I'm working at it, lady. Just relax for a sec there. Okay, there's your gas. Just chill out. Okay, keep it coming. Oh, it's you. You're you're getting you're grabbing some gas while you're checking out there. Oh, that's very fun. Um, good. Here you go. Have have some gasoline. Very sporty car. It's a little 80s. You're, you're rocking kind of a Knight Rider look. Sorry, I will give you your gas, yes. Okay, I'm going to go shut everything down. The fuel customer does not really exist. Oh, the cops are back. Um, I don't have anything for you, officer. It's We're shutting everything down while I kind of get control of my life here. So shut shut all things down. All things stop working now. Um, we're... Did you just leave? Good. Okay, back to work here. Back to work. All right, so you had the single bed, so that'll actually be a little bit easier. Get this, this, and then the towel over here. All right, get all of this in the laundry. You've got plenty of toilet paper, so I definitely don't have to come back and restock that. That toilet paper is now hovering, because apparently you took the one out of the bottom, and the rest of them stayed up. Wow, man.
magic. Now, I'd asked last time about moving the washing machine because this seems like a very long walk. I should move the washing machine over to like the office and be like, no, no, don't ever do that. That's the worst thing ever. Don't, don't do anything that you just said you were going to do. I still think like it, it seems it would be much handier if I had the washing machine over in my own office, but uh, I guess not. Oh, I haven't checked my vending machine. Do we have money in here? Yeah, we got money in here. Okay, give me money. Look at that, 35 bucks. And I did nothing. I did nothing. Okay, we're getting more vending machine stuff. Now, before I do that, what is this upgrade thing that we're doing here? Shop park lots. Okay, more parking places. I don't really need more parking places. Let me make sure I'm doing the right thing. What does it say? One shop park lot. Okay, so shop park lot. So it's definitely this one. All right, so what does this take? Oh, it's only 50 bucks? Oh, I thought this was going to be a much bigger deal. Yeah, upgrade that. That's fine. And unlock the staff room now. That's much more interesting. That is much, much more interesting. Okay, so where's staff room? Oh, it's a whole other building. Oh, that's very, very cool. Um, wow, 500 bucks. Dang, that ain't nothing. But I can afford it and still be able to buy some stuff for the vending machine. Okay, what does this say? Hang on, I've got to read things. So I can hire employees. When an employee's salary reaches 300, he will stop working. So when he's making the most money, he's just going to stop. That seems very silly. I'm not, I don't, I don't understand that. That I'm sure it'll become evident. Stalkers, stalkers need a warehouse. Okay. And shelves. Got it. I'm really focused more on a shop attendant or a housekeeper. Housekeepers need washing machines. Oh, maybe that's what the comments was trying to tell me is that the, the housekeeper area is closer to the, the, where the washer is right now, so maybe don't move it. Mark rooms for housekeeping, otherwise housekeepers will ignore them. What I'd really like is somebody to man the shop. That would be my ideal. And then I, I guess I could upgrade this later for 2000 Okay, so how do we deal with that? Is that under management? Uh, price staff, there we go. Hang on, go back to pricing. Go back to pricing. Can we, we can change it here, okay. I didn't know, I, I was trying to change it over at the shelf, but no, we change it here. It's pretty good as is, though. And people really want to buy this stuff. Look at that, 110% chance that people are going to buy a peanut butter and jelly cookie. I get that. I can tell you right now, if you put a peanut butter and jelly cookie in front of me, there's a 110% chance that I am going to buy that. So all of these are pretty good. I don't really need to worry about that right now. Let's look more, how about fuel? All right, so we're buying it for a dollar. We're selling it for a dollar thirty, and there's a hundred and four percent chance somebody's going to buy it. What if it was a dollar thirty-five? Not a bad, not bad at all. Still, basically a hundred percent chance they're going to buy it. And now I make five cents more on a um, what is it? What do you people call it? A liter? A liter? How is that? What is that? Is that like a hectare or something? Now bedroom number two has a 152% chance that somebody's going to buy it. What if this was 150? Still 92% chance. And I make way more money on that. Way more. Save that. Okay, save that because I, I don't want to... What I'll do... Here's what's going to happen, okay? Because we're not new to the channel, all right? This is not your guys' first time on this channel. I'm going to set all these prices and then I'm just going to X out of it. And you're going to have to leave a comment that says, Dave, you didn't actually save the prices. They're all the original prices. And then I'm going to have to go in back next time and go, dang, I didn't actually save the prices. I'm going to have to redo all those prices. So just to just to preempt that, if you will, just to kind of get us ahead of the game, why don't I actually save the prices now instead of having to do this three episodes from now? Okay, back to the concept of staff. I know I have no employees. I know. So gas station would cost me six fifty an hour. Cash register. That's the one I want. Wow, five bucks an hour? I am I'm awful. I'm I'm awful. That's that no one can live on that. That's you can't you can't even eat on that. Never mind live on that. I'm so terrible to my employees. Okay. Um I would like to hire someone. Hi. Nema Evelyn I'm sorry, Jolly Roger? I, I'm sorry, what? Jolly Roger? That's actually your name? I don't care who's in this list. We're hiring you. Um, who else is in this list? Our Luna. Yeah, Freya, Mon. Um, I cannot not hire Jolly Roger. I, I don't care. 
Um, okay, what do you do now? Jo- I'm going to tell you what you do. Um, you, you, sir. I've just hired a man called Jolly Roger. All right, so how does this work for Jolly Roger here? I, I see your tasks. Am I automatically hiring you for the shop? How does this max products in the shop? Yeah, so it looks like you're... It looks like you're going to work in the shop. I don't need you to unload deliveries. I can handle that for right now. Stocking products is good. I'll need to put some more shelves in the warehouse, but I, I can cope with that. And sell empty boxes after stocking. Yeah, thank you comments again. Uh, many, many people told me you should sell your boxes rather than throwing them away because you can make a few pennies on that. It's just money. I will vaguely try to remember to do that. I can't guarantee it, though. So, yeah, definitely do that. Uh, don't worry about cleaning the office or cleaning the rooms because that's not what you do. And then how do I how do I actually assign Jolly Roger to this? Is, that, is this just sort of automatic? If I save that does he work here now i'm very confused by this oh no i gotta go back over to employees because there he is jolly roger um auto payment yeah pay him daily definitely and then you're resting ah there we go i want you at the cash register yes cash register one okay and then your salary is that just sort of set like that cash register five dollars an hour uh no no not 50 i want no 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 i want five, five how what what is going on here why are these numbers clicking changing weirdly wrong every time i click this it, it kind of goes up by by 50 cents i'm i'm very very confused there it did it again i just want the five dollar thing if that's what we're paying the dude that's what we're paying why are we going up by 50 cents what is wrong with you, Jolly Roger? Okay, you know what? I'm giving him I'm giving him 550. Okay, so pay that? Oh, it's gone away again. Did I just give you a bonus? Jolly Roger, you're deeply confusing to me in an unsettling way, but I love your hair and your name. I'm going to um I'm going to turn the shop on and then kind of see what happens. Oh, hi, there's a criminal. Uh, that's okay, I've got a shotgun. Is there a criminal right now? Is that what's going on? Hang on, let me arm myself here. Uh, is there a criminal, like, right at this moment? Is that why that tutorial popped up? Are you a criminal? Uh, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Are you gonna steal something? Is that, is that, like, your plan? Are you wearing Crocs? So, um, Jolly Roger, you're here. You're looking a little nonplussed, but you're here. Um, do your do your thing, man. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I'm sorry. I'm pointing a gun at you. I'm I'm very sorry. This is um a bad first day in terms of employer employee relations. Uh, it's just that I've been told about criminals. I did. Did you see any? I know. I'm still pointing a gun at you. This is a little threatening. You're right. No, there is no HR department. I am HR. Again, is there um. Is there a criminal now or not or like how does this how does this work here? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shoot things. Oh, there's a customer at the shop. I gotta go. I'll put the gun away. I, I gotta go see if jo- I, I'll we'll keep the gun in in my pocket. Um, do you do your thing? Oh, look at you. Look at you go. All right, that is okay. That that probably just paid his whole day's salary right there. All right, Jolly Roger. I I can't believe I hired somebody named Jolly Roger. Oh, is my laundry done? I should go check out the staff room, too. I bet they'd like some stuff in there. I should probably put, like, extra things in that. So let's go ahead and just put all this stuff down for right now until I have time to deal with it. Place the sheet and place the blanket and then place the towel right over here on the floor. Do a quick bit of cleanup around here. So get that. And watch my little bar up top to make sure we get all the stuff out of here. All right, what else? Ah, there it is. I see it. All right, that's what was dirty around here. Okay, go back to that. All right, um, Jolly Roger has got the shop covered, and that's the most exciting sentence I've said in many weeks. That's just brilliant. So he's got the shop covered. Um, I will need to order some stuff for the shop and then put some shelves down. So he will allegedly stock it himself. But I want to get more things, basically. I'm not going to sweat that car's fueled right now. I want to make sure this room is ready to go. Yeah, you're going right for the vending machine. Right for the vending machine. 
You have great. Oh, wow, you got a lot of stuff, too. You just cleaned me out. Okay, it's going to be all about the vending machines in this game. So reopen the motel so I can rent that room out. Don't worry about the gas station right now. Let's do, well, food, food and drink. Um, let's just do soft drinks in that first vending machine. I just want that to be like nothing but sodas and stuff. So get a couple of these, a couple of these, grape soda. Just get a little bit of everything here. Yeah, do all of that. The the Austrian soda there. Oh, my, is, wait, what? Oh, there we go. I wasn't clicking on the right thing. Uh, so the price is down on these. Probably don't get those because the price is up on those. So we'll get some of that and then some of that. And then, sure, some of this. Just get a little bit of everything. Milk? No, probably not so much. Big bottle of water. How much am I spending here? Oh, wow, I'm spending a lot of money. Oh, okay. Uh, back this off a little bit here. Yeah, just back that off. Back that off. And back that off. Oh, I was not keeping track of how much money I just spent there. Okay. Um, yeah, don't get don't get the fast delivery. Don't pay extra for that. It'll get here when it gets here. Uh, customer shop. That's fine. Jolly Roger has got that covered. I've hired someone named Jolly Roger. Can we all just have a discussion about that? And that leaves me time to clean up a little bit around here. Get that and get that. Oh, somebody was saying garbage cans. I guess we can get garbage cans and then people won't necessarily throw their garbage on the street like a bunch of animals. And that makes total sense. I can't order it now because I've already got a delivery on the way. But where would that be like misc? That's probably a misc thing, right? Yeah, there we go. Trash can and trash can two. Best in the franchise, in my opinion. Trash can three kind of jumped the shark there. Now, is that is that other room ready to go? I didn't actually check that. So rooms. Uh, yeah, it's ready. It's ready. Anytime, anytime somebody wants to do that, they can do that. Housekeeping is on. I don't actually have any housekeepers right now. But if if we did, they could be, I guess, housekeeping that. Um, ma'am, this is employees only back here. This is, is this like your girlfriend? You can't have your girlfriend in the staff area. Why is this all Jolly? Do, sorry, do I call you Jolly or Roger? Is Roger your last name? I'm very confused by you in a really exciting way. Oh, uh, hang on. I got to go get somebody at the office. Can you kind of sort this all out? Do, do we just have, like, no products or something? No, we got plenty of stuff. Um, hang on. I'm going to see if I can kind of... An employee is assigned to this cash register. I think, I think either Jolly or Mr. Roger or some variation thereof has had a bit of a flummox. All right, let's get you down here because I'm probably going to rent you that room. Uh, so you need a room with two beds for 36 hours. Take that room. Oh, contains two beds. Okay, no room available. Go away. Somewhere in here, there was something for, like, resetting these. Unstuck. Yeah, I, I want to unstuck you. Unstuck you now. Are you unstuck, Jolly? A again, is it Jolly or Roger? What? How How do I refer to you? I don't want to offend you. Okay, it's, um, we're having a bit of a day here. We're having a bit of a day. Can I, how do I... I can't get in here because he's working here. What are you two doing? What? What is this? Is this some sort of TikTok thing? Do I have to take the money? And 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 take money again? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not sure why I just lost $47 either. That was a little weird. Um. Okay, how do I deal with Jolly? How how do we make this stop? How about if we shut the shop off? Now they're still going to be standing there and then shut it on again. Management, uh, staff, how do I... I want to unstuck you. How about if you went somewhere else? Go to the warehouse and now go back to the cash register. Yes, cash register one. Off you go. Do I, should I just pay you? I don't want to fire you. You seem like a valuable contribution to the team here. But you're not, you're not really doing anything, man. Yeah, it's it's getting it's getting worse and worse and worse. Um, what if I took this? What if I no? I, what if I moved it? Can I move anyone? Anyone at all? Can you can you guys all just go away? I don't know what his problem is. I don't know what your problem is too. Well, my delivery's here. I could at least deal with that. I I don't know what's going on with Jolly over there. Uh, let's get a bunch of this stuff in here, and let's go ahead and get the vending machine stocked up at bare minimum. Yeah, good thing, too, because I was sold out in here. I got nothing left. Uh, so place, plate, place, place, plate, place. 
All right, place it down there. Place anything. All right, put that box down there. This one could go here, here, anywhere, anywhere, any, anywhere. Okay, fine. Put it there. I don't care. Put everything everywhere. All right, good. And then, okay, it, okay. Put the box down. I'm very concerned about Jolly Rock. Uh, this box. I know this box is full. We we want to put stuff down here. Can we can we put stuff down here? Can we? Okay, we got to fill up this one first. Why, why are we not putting things down here? Anywhere at all. All right, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm very confused by that. All right, so this price gun thing, uh, $2. Yeah, you know what? It's 2 bucks. 2 bucks. Sell that one, too. That's better than nothing. Um, I'm going to shut down everything. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what your problem is. Go away. Um, actually, maybe don't go away. Hang on. Uh, you need a room with one bed. Actually, yeah, you can have that room. That's 142 right there. Excellent. How... I'm going to shut the shop down. I've obviously done something critically stupid. This is not surprising. Uh, Jolly Roger has just taken my instructions and gone completely off script with them. How about, I, I know, go rest. How about you go rest? Unstuck you. All right, man, it, I know you have no assignments. I know. Do you, like, go away now? How? Okay, he's gone. Jolly, maybe I can kind of swoop in here and, and save the day. I've just, I've just picked that up for no reason. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I did that. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little distracted today. What I was actually trying to do is deal with you people. So check out. There we go. All right. Maybe just Jolly Roger needed a, a break or something like that. I, I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Cruising through the people now. You need a 200 grand and. A grape soda. Ugh, just kind of threw up a little bit in my mouth there. Okay, that that is done. Let's go. I don't, whatever your problem is, I can't help you with it. Where is my staff area? Is that over here? Okay, you're standing in the couch. Well, this is actually not bad. This is a really nice area. Look at this. You got a little bed over here. You got a couple of beds. You got a better TV than the, my room does. Really sweet bathtub there. When... You know what, Jolly? We're going to have to come back to this next time. Guys, that is probably an excellent place to call it on Motel Manager Simulator for today. We have an employee. I'm not sure how to make him do his job, but we have an employee. We have our third room set up, and we're going all vending machines. It's going to be all... Look at this. There's 30 bucks in here. There's 30 bucks in here right now. This thing is going to be littered with vending machines. That parking spot? Vending machines. Employee area? Vending machines. Street outside? vending machines. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. But maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse cinnamon, huh? It's just basic security technique. If the door is closed, cinnamon... Cinnamon, the zombies are going to have to work harder to get in. No what you've done you. is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, Hey, zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire? Or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me, and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created... Epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.